Pyro, the X Man who can control fire. You can't create it because he has to have a little Zippo fire lighter thing in his pocket at all times. Now, he's a bit of a bad guy. There's a couple of scenes where he's creating all havoc. There's one where he's chucking fireballs everywhere and police cars are going to blow up. We're not going to recreate that, but I do like the idea of being able to shoot flames from my wrist. So that is the plan. That's what we're going to try and do. I have burnt myself in the past, but fingers crossed this goes a little bit better. <laughs> Now we need a fuel and I'm going to go with gas, a bit of propane, I'm going to get these little cylinders that you normally get on your blowtorch, um, but obviously the amount of gas we need in one hit you're not going to be able to just get out of the bottle, so we need to kind of make a bit of a reservoir, so I've got a bit of stainless from the scrapyard, just going to clean this up and then we'll kind of somehow join these to connect them together and then so this fills that up and then we can let that whole lot out, whole whole lot out in one lump and gas reservoir, nice and neat. Now we've just got to get uh, get the gas bottle on there, make an adaption so the uh, thing can be put on the side, pipe it up into the bottom and then put two pipes off the top with some valves on, ready for our controls to go wah! Progress is good. Got our uh, base for our fire breathing system. So we've got a vessel which will charge up with gas, and then there's two solenoid valves on the top. One big one for the main blast, and then we've got like a tiny one for the little pilot valve, which is going to go on the other arm. Gas bottle sits under there, tightens up with this. This thing on the side is a little spark piezo generator, and then this little thing is a little battery holder which I've made. Put a pressure gauge on the top so you can see what pressure we've got in it. Just be interesting. And there we are, that can sit in a rucksack on my back. And uh, just gonna sort me handy things out there. Look how a lovely job of that, don't you think? Look at that though, nice shiny bit of stainless there. Yeah? Won't go rusty, just in case I fall in the sea. Now we need to do our shooters. Now on this hand, this is gonna be a main hand that I'll go <laughs> chuck big flames. And on this hand, I'm gonna have like a pilot light. Because just like him, we can't create fire. So, I've kind of cannibalized a blowtorch nozzle. Fixed it to a little plate, like this look, and then this little tube coming up here, this is a, a, a bit of a um, little metal rod and a plastic case to kind of insulate it for the uh, sparker to spark across and light it. Now that is going to be fixed to my wrist, a little strap here, like that. So when I go like that, lights it there and then we've got our fire ready for this one to come and give it all hell. Now, all I've got to do now is make some switches, so when I go like that, the whole thing lights up and sparks up. And then, same again, switch. Bang! That's the plan. And we all know this is probably heading for doom, and my skin has recovered pretty well from the last burn incident. Fingers crossed, it'll be alright. Here we go. A little hinge with a little thingy. Sit that there. Sort of works. Put on my wrist. If I hold it, 
to that. Works brilliantly, so. But if I don't hold it, it kind of just shoves it back up my wrist because this stretches. So I think if I join the two together somehow with like a, a bit of plate, and hopefully it will uh, it'll struggle to move it. Give this pilot system a test. Battery's connected, gas bottles on, pressurised up. For your information, these gas bottles have five bar in them from you. Right, all the cables are all rigged up. We've got the tube, we've got everything sat there, sparker, butter. Here we go. <laughs> right, let's put it on my hand. <laughs> no. You have to admit, that, that is cool. <laughs> right, I think that a complete success. So now just make the other side so I can... Tube. Put it over there. Like so. Mechanism in the back. Should be behind me. Something like that. 